Hi, this is PC Roger. In this screencast, I want to talk about which Windows 7 version is right for you. Now, Windows 7 has just been released to manufacturing and won't be out yet until the fall, but here's what we think we know about it. There are essentially, at least in the US, uh, four versions and they are priced quite differently. You can see we have at the Starter Edition, the Home Premium, the Professional, and the Ultimate. Now, at the Starter Edition, there are restrictions. It's only going to be allowed by Microsoft on certain machines and primarily netbooks. Now it does have a, a lower requirement of horsepower and that's one of the reasons why you'll see it on netbooks. But uh, the price is lower and it looks like it. It's uh, not going to have the fancy user interface. going to be kind of ugly. The other thing that may or may not be an issue is it will not play DVDs. Now a lot of netbooks don't have a DVD player although you can certainly get one that will plug into the USB drive and I've got a nice one that I use doesn't even require any external power but if the manufacturer does not you know bundle some type of you know wind DVD or power DVD something you can always get the the free VLC media player now home premium is probably going to be the most offered version it's what you're going to see the most of we've seen this from XP to Vista and it's kind of going to be the same with Windows 7 it is a lower price than the professional version. However, in my opinion, and I work primarily in the office, home means home. And please don't and please do get the pro version for the office. One of the things that you'll find is that the things that home doesn't do, you say, "Yeah, I don't need that," and later on you find you do. If you can get the pre the professional for just a couple bucks more, it might very well be worth it. And here on the next slide, we're going to talk about the difference. Home Premium cannot join a domain, which if you're not in a corporate environment or maybe have a uh, small office, home office with a server, you know, that, that might not be an issue for you. The built-in backup will not store data on a network drive. Now, if you've got a, uh, a Windows Home server, you're already covered on that anyway, and maybe you're just using USB drives, that could maybe isn't an issue, it, it might not be a big deal for you. If you have a, a, a network attached storage device, a NAS, it might be. Sometimes they come with their own software package too. But the built-in backup will not store data on a network drive. Home Premium also cannot be controlled with remote desktop. It still has remote desktop in order to control another machine, but it cannot be controlled. If you need that feature, I really like a, a, a different product. It's a web-based product, and you can check it out at GoRemotePC.com. Now the file sync, I don't know too many people who use that, but that also will not work on a network drive in the home premium version. And if you're looking to run some older programs on Windows XP mode, forget it, home premium will not do it. The encryption of just files, and I'm not talking about the whole disk, I'm talking about just the files, is also uh, something that you have to have professional or ultimate to be able to do. And for those two or three of you out there who want to quickly connect your projector, okay, maybe it's more than that, but Home Premium does not do that. There's a handy little uh, uh, Windows key that does that in the Professional and the Ultimate. Now, the Professional version is the choice of people who do not like limitations. I happen to be one of them. However, again, there may be uh, a bit of a price difference here. There's certainly be some price. We don't know exactly what. But uh, if you want to make sure that you don't run into any of those limitations, get the professional version. One of the things that you might uh, run across as a, as a different kind of a question is whether or not you should use the 64-bit version of Windows 7. And the thing to remember there is the same thing as in previous versions of Windows. It's all about the drivers. If you've got an older printer, an older scanner, an older device of some kind where they do not intend, the manufacturer that is, does not intend to provide a 64-bit driver for Windows 7, you'll have to be willing to buy a new peripheral. So 64-bit uh, will uh, give you better performance, make better use of your hardware, but there are some other issues there. And if you do start out with a 32-bit version of Windows, you cannot do an in-place upgrade to a 64, only a, a, a 64 to a 64. But that's kind of a different topic. I just thought I'd throw that in because uh, it is something that uh, some people should be thinking about. Now, the ultimate version is uh, typically an ultimate waste of money. Microsoft charges a lot more for it, at least in the in the Vista they did, and they really did not follow through on the extras that they promised. It has the uh, the BitLocker whole disk encryption. It's the only version to have that. That is a proprietary version of uh, a whole disk encryption software to Microsoft. But there are other alternatives. I use one that is uh, not made by Microsoft. I'm very happy with it. 
the uh, ultimate version does give you the best multi-language support I guess that's not an issue for me uh, but it might be an issue for you and uh, if it is you might want to check into some of those price differences and, and what it really entails but uh, ultimate is probably not going to be worth the money for really anybody I know but uh, again if you think that is for you then check out the de details when they do become available in the fall now, if you are looking for a new PC, and a lot of people will be getting Windows 7 on a new PC, I do highly recommend Dell Computers. And I've got uh, quite a bit of information, uh, some reviews and so forth, on my website, and you can check those out for exactly why. Uh, one of the reasons is for the support Dell offers, but also because of the quality of the machines. If you want to get the absolute best price on a Dell online, you'll want to get my special report. The address is there on the screen. You want to check that out. And that's about it for this screencast. I ask that you would visit my website, pcroger.com. You can even sign up for my free e-letter. I send those out about once a week with some helpful tips and tricks. And as uh, Windows 7 gets more into the mainstream here, I will be covering that in a lot more detail. Thanks for watching.